What is going on everybody? How you guys doing and welcome back to another episode. Um, if you guys couldn't tell by the title, we're gonna be uh we're gonna be ice fishing today. This is gonna be my second video of ice fishing for the 2021 season. Um today was a really good day. Um I'm just kind of doing this intro um after the fact because unfortunately the intro that I had done at the lake was kind of wind corrupted. It always seems to be that way just because the wind really really gets to the vlogging camera. But anyways, guys, um today was a great day of fishing. I uh, set up my my shack for the first time uh, this year, and you know, fish were biting. Fish were definitely biting. Um, the ice is the ice is doing great too. It's just, yeah, guys, it was just a really good day on the water. So I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short, and um, let's just jump right into the actual video. Okay, folks, welcome to the first setup of 2021. Um, it's minus 17 today where I'm living, and. Um, yeah, like I said in the intro, guys, we were going to set up, or we are going to set up the tent, and uh, we got her going. We got we got everything everything set up inside. I'll give you guys a quick little look. We got the, uh, oh, we're marking a fish. Holy crap. But anyways, guys, we got, like, literally the underwater camera set up. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's actually a fish coming up to my lure right now. Can't see it on the camera, but I can see it on my deucer. But anyways, um, we got everything set up in here. Um, obviously again, safety precautions were full when I went out here. There's the spud bar, makeshift spud bar anyway. But anyways, guys, what we're going to be doing now is, uh, I'm just going to go, I don't even know what you call it. It's not drilling. I'm going to go like mine another couple holes and I'm going to see if I can, uh, you know, find some deep fish water and I'm going to set up a dead stick because why not? I don't have minnows, but I'm just going to set up something for a dead stick and then I will see you guys back in our tent there she is sitting there guys i just wanted to show you that again but anyways guys another thing before i actually go in there i know last clip i did say i'll see you guys in the tent what i want to emphasize is literally doing big aggressive like stabs into the ice every step you go because i mean this is early ice guys and uh no i just yeah again just want to emphasize how safe you really got to be this uh you never know if a lake has springs if a lake has springs what could happen is well, I mean, there'll be a spot where there's five inches of ice and there'll be a spot where there's literally zero because the spring is not going to allow ice form properly. So that's why you just got to be super careful, especially when there's snow cover. And uh, so yeah, guys, but you know what I might even do? I did say I was going to go set up a tip up for a dead stick out um, out in some deeper water, but I think I might just fish in some deeper water. I don't know. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to walk out a little bit more and yeah. I was literally just moving. Um, to go to the uh, deeper hole I was telling you guys about and I went to my screen and I saw there was a bunch of fish on the screen um, Right after I pulled up my camera, too. So I dropped right down there just to see what was going on and uh, Folks we have officially caught our first uh, first fish of the day is it a it's a nice It's a nice pretty looking northern Ontario perch. I mean I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is a beautiful fish. The colors of the perch up here are so much different than down south down in Southern Ontario, your perch are more like colored up, but here, they seem more almost, gr not green, yeah, I guess green, brown, like a little darker colored fish. And that just be, could be because of the tea stained water, but anyways, <laughs> first fish of the day, um, just as we were about to move, maybe I'm not going to move now. I, again, I kind of spotted my way out there and made a made another hole about, uh, I don't know, I'd say uh, 20 more, 30 more feet out in the deeper water. Uh I don't know. But anyways, guys, apparently there's fish on the spot I was trying to move from, so. We're staying in our original spot. Oh my gosh. So many. Come on, guys. Yep, another one, guys. Same clip, too. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> there we go. Second fish of the day. This thing just absolutely choked it, too. Holy. Two perch and one go. Look at that screen. Guys, I think we found the fish just as we're about to move. Fish number two of the day. Yep, hooked up, guys. Bigger, 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 bigger. Whoa! <laughs> Third freaking perch of the day. Holy smokes. This one's almost almost considered a decent perch, honestly. Look at that thing. Look at that. We're going for crappies, guys, but we're catching gorgeous perch. I'm going to try to open up all the windows. or One more window just gorgeous gorgeous specimen of a fish that's awesome guys fish number three of the day get back down there bud early ice baby early freaking ice oh so guys it kind of just seemed like a school of perch 
went through um, right as I was about to move. I mean, I literally pulled up the underwater camera, and as soon as I pulled up the underwater camera, I looked down at the screen, and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's like 40, not 40, I'm just randomly guessing, but there was like a, the screen was just loaded with perch. And I guess I didn't know there were perch. I could have been walleyes. It could have been crappie. But anyways, the screen was loaded. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I decided to drop back down. And then boom, boom, boom. We got three three fish. So I'm not going to make my move just yet to the deeper basin hole. But I don't know. I mean, you know, I'd love to be catching big walleyes or big crappies. But I mean, it's early ice. You work with what you got. You know, if we're catching perch, I'm still going to put a smile on my face. And it's still going to make for a pretty entertaining video, because in all reality, guys, I mean, it's November 25th, and we are ice fishing. Just, can you, can you really beat that? that that's just a real, that's the real question, and the true answer is you can't beat that. That's just freaking, freaking awesome. Guys, we moved to our deeper hole, and we're marking instantly, instantly. That school of perch by the shack seemed to have passed, and, uh, no, it's like we drilled around a fish. I'm not gonna believe this. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get any of the fight on camera, but we just caught our first freaking crappie of the year. Woo! Look at that freaking beautiful specimen of a crappie right there, guys. Just absolutely choked the tungsten. Holy crap, guys. My first Northwestern Ontario black crappie. That's insane. Literally, guys, I got no fight on camera because I was I didn't have the GoPro on. And I was just like crazy focused on just landing the fish because I didn't want to lose it. But, um... That's insane, guys. First Northwestern Ontario black crappie, probably only like a 10 incher. But it's a freaking black crappie, none the yes. None the, none the yes. Nonetheless, we freaking got on crappie, guys. Hopefully, there's more in this hole. You know, it was suspended in about 15 foot of water. Look at that beautiful freaking specimen. I'm gonna give him a drink, and I'm gonna get a good picture, and we're gonna get him back. Well, folks, I tried to get a picture, but my phone died. But say goodbye to crappie number one of the year. Let's freaking go. I tried to run him back to the shack. Uh, full speed just to get a cool picture on my phone, but unfortunately my phone died. So uh, We just got GoPro footage, but that's awesome guys crappie number one of the year. I could not be happier to say that uh, Yeah, guys, we just pulled out our first crappie. That's that's awesome. My first crappie in Northwestern Ontario Anyways guys, let's get back to our deep hole. I think we're gonna move the whole shack in about five minutes Just gonna see if I can catch another one and uh, Let's go. All right, folks. I got the GoPro plugged in right now. Um, it's gonna be a different kind of shot from now on. I'm just gonna leave the GoPro plugged in, mounting on the mountain on the traduce, tra 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 traducer, transducer. It's negative 21 out right now, negative 25 with the wind chill, I think, or something like that. Holy crap, guys! But we got a crop. We're catching, we're catching fish, guys. We got the hub shack moved over now, as you can see. We just missed a crappie. Oh my gosh! Oh, hooked up, guys. Big crappie. Big crappie. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Holy crap. Guys, look at that crappie. Can you guys see this right now? <laughs> we just set up the hub shot, guys. And we just got a probably a 12 inch crappie. Are you kidding me right now? Just set up the hub shot. Holy. This is huge. This is a this is insane. Guys. Guys, are you kidding me right now? Take a look at this crappie. I'm gonna get the camera cleaned off there. Just take a look at that, guys. My hands are so cold. Oh, my goodness. I hope the GoPro is, is getting these shots. Just a massive crappie. Wow. Good thing we moved the hub shack. Guys, just wanted to move outside here to make sure I got a perfect shot of this beautiful crappie. Probably about, I don't know, 12, a 12 incher. One of my bigger crappies I've ever caught through the ice. Um, I don't know if the GoPro is picking this up too good, guys, but just look at that gorgeous, gorgeous crappie. Let's, let's get this beauty back here. I hope my filmography skills are okay. Um, everything's dying on me, but gorgeous, guys. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous specimen of a crappie. Let's get her back. You good, buddy? You good? Whoa! <laughs> He's good. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. We're marking, guys. We're marking again. We're marking. Suspended mark. Big suspended mark. Big suspended mark. Oh! Oh my god! Folks, we're hooked up. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? 
We got another big crappie on. Folks. Oh my god! Holy crap, guys! We just got my PP crappie. We just caught my PP crappie. Oh my gosh, folks. Literally, we just caught the biggest crappie of my life. Early ice 2021, boys and girls. I don't even know how to mentally fathom what just happened. I think this is a 15 inch crappie. I think this is a 15 inch freaking crappie. Look at it in comparison to the Lawrence. Gonna give him a drink. I literally thought it was like, I don't even know what it was, but oh my goodness. This is, this video is just awesome. Okay, folks, we have got some beautiful pictures on this beautiful crappie. Just unbelievable, this fish right here, guys. Let's get her back. Barely fits down the hole. Let's give her a little revive. Take the deucer out. Oh, <laughs> there she freaking goes, guys. My personal best crappie right there. Um, again, I'm guessing around 15 inches, and I'm not even kidding. I got a measurement on the rod, so we'll see when we get home. But we're still marking fish down there, guys. Oh, got one. Hooked up, guys. Hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up. Whoa. <laughs> Not the desired species, but we got another fish nonetheless. It's our first perch in a while, actually. Um, give you guys a good look here. Um, yeah, after that giant crappie, we really haven't seen any other fish. So this is our, this is actually our first fish after the giant crappie. But anyways, guys, nothing really to write home about. Well, apparently I can't handle a fish. Get him back. See ya, bud. Okay, so maybe the perch are in right now. But still, that's a fish nonetheless. Can't really complain about that. The sun's coming out. Hey, there's the fish going back down on the transducer. And they're eating a little toxin. All right, folks. Um, we were just, we literally were just about to film an outro and call it a day. And I noticed there were still some fish on the graph. And uh, we just got a nice perch here, guys. There's still a ton of fish on the graph. So I'm going to get right back down there. But yeah, guys, our, our, we literally just pulled up the shack. That's gone. Everything's cleaned up. But it seems like we might be on a school of something. Looks like it probably is only perch, but I don't know. Oh, hooked up, guys. Hooked up. Definitely feels like a perch. I'd be happy to say it's crappie. But it's a yellow perch. That's okay. We're catching fish. Look at that little guy. Look at that. Get him back. Still marking. You know, after that big crappie, to be honest with you guys, that giant we caught earlier, any fish is a good fish just because I'm, I'm already satisfied with the day, but... Cool to see a nice little perch come up there. All right, everybody. That nice little perch will be the last fish that you guys will see in this video. Um, I'm calling it a day here, calling it a video here. Obviously, I'm already home, but I called it a day after that fish just because I was kind of getting cold. But uh, yeah, guys, it was a really good freaking video. I'm really happy with uh, how the day went. PB crappie, that's awesome. 14.5 incher, giant. And uh, no, yeah, guys. I'm really enjoying this early ice and um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Um, I'm trying to upload as much as possible if you guys couldn't tell. So uh, yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, maybe hit the subscribe button. Lots of ice content to come and uh, I will see you guys next time.